So what is going on everyone? It's XO here and we're back once again on Black Ops 3. Now in this video we're going to check out some more secret rooms, hiding spots, all that good stuff. And honestly one of these spots might be the best in all of Black Ops 3. It's not a backwards mantle or anything, just a little bit challenging so make sure you stay tuned for that. Also my gift card giveaway is still going on, just leave a like and comment down below to enter that ends on Sunday hope you guys enjoy the video now and let's get right to the spots so let's start this video off on micro here and this is a ledge that's not really seen all too often you jump off the side of the wall there and then just land on the corner it's a small invisible ledge but it's not too bad to get up to it's not like getting on the nuketown one or even the combined glass ledge or the other one let's watch me in first person doing this so you jump off the side of the wall or any way you get to this height and then land right on the ledge it's off the corner there a little bit to the right exactly where I'm at it's really not that hard to get up to I did think it was patched for a second though because I was trying it out for a while couldn't get up to it but it works I tried it out today got it flawless after a few tries the ants right there they're not any problem and this bot just came right by me I didn't think I was gonna be able to kill him but two stickies and see ya buddy all right now we're gonna move to another one on micro this is actually a climb in which I also thought was patched I think they patched two glitches early on on this map. That's why I kind of got that feeling that some of these weren't working anymore, but they are. So you just want to jump up in this corner here just as I do. Took me a few tries fast forwarded right there. Just jump in the corner and you climb right through if you do it exactly as I do. These climb ins, you know, there's really nothing to them. You just need to make sure that you're balanced and controlled when you're jumping up right at that corner. And if you get in the right ledge, you climb right through into this spot. I did try to get further with Jump Paws XX. That didn't work. Maybe Melee would have. I really doubt it though. There's not many spots you can get to from here. Although I did think you could perhaps get to that spot behind the bottles. That would be a spot you could get to from the Talon Glitch or Teleporting. Either way, a nice spot on Micro. I believe this is the only backwards mantle or any kind of breach of any kind. And now we're going to move to Rupture. I know I can't get enough of this map here. Now I was watching Capic do this little window backwards mantle. I decided that I was going to mess around with him a little bit. Missed with that sticky grenade. He definitely took notice though. I'm always killing him in lobbies. I don't know why. But here we are. Let's watch him go about this one. So you just want to backwards mantle off the window. And if you do it correctly, you'll actually get stuck to the opposite side. We've seen this recently on Exodus. The one getting inside of the library one. As well as the one on Cryogen. So once you're in this spot here, you just need to melee somebody and you go inside of the wall in this small little compartment. Not a huge spot to get inside of, but definitely better than the next one I'm going to be showing you guys. Rupture, I think, might have the most backwards mantles out of all DLC maps. Now thinking about it, there's at least seven or eight. When I first started out this series, I only knew about three, so great job, community. This is about all you could do from this glitch, so let's just show a little bit more here. And then actually, Capic meleeed me. He got outside of it somehow. Not really sure how that happened. I was a dunce and I just kept on hitting the wall like an idiot. He made me feel like an idiot too. So here we go. I just followed him and you know what had to happen. Taking it right to his head. Now here's a backwards mantle that I was able to do, which I didn't even know worked. So I was in this one originally, tried to kill myself. That wasn't going to happen. You know, when you get stuck inside of here, I saw It's Futures or Night Fighter. He was able to make it fully through in one of my past videos. Check that out in the description below. But let's go over to this ledge. And then, like I said, I didn't know that this one worked. And maybe if gravity spikes. But no, I did the backwards mantle. And I was able to get right inside of this little pillar or ledge. Whatever you want to call it. Now, it isn't like it's a great backwards mantle or anything like that. Kind of like getting into the outside pillar on Metro. I know I compare glitches all the time, but that's just really what it is. So as you see, I go right inside of there, and I can be seen a little bit. A decent spot for hide and seek. I still have yet to see anybody do a hide and seek game on Rupture. Now we're on evac here, and this is in the back of the map. This is not exactly a productive backwards mantle, but you do it over that ledge, and you get stuck to the wall if you do it correctly. You are hidden behind that red door, technically. But you can also melee somebody and get to the other side, which puts you behind a plastic curtain, I guess, or whatever you want to call it in this evacuation center. As I said, not the most productive glitch, but you know what? I figured I'd include it in this video. I've never shown this one on evac before either. Along with this glitch here, this might be one of the best hiding spots on all of Black Ops 3. It's so low-key, and it is kind of difficult to do, though. 
You want to jump below inside of this hangar here. It requires a crouch jump at the top of your jump. If you do it correctly in that right corner, you'll stick up there. Now I'm going to show you guys this in first person. It took me a few tries to get it. Kind of like another comparison, the hunted glitch under the bridge. So let's watch. I jump under there after I get my wall run right. And then I crouch jump at the top of my jump and move right to the right and kind of towards the inner part. And if you do it correctly, you stick up inside of there in this little hiding spot. If you get inside of this in a hide and seek game, you are obviously going to be the winner. But I really don't know anybody that could do this on their first try. I can get the hunted bridge one on my first try, but this one I feel like is even harder. Maybe it just takes a veteran and a crouch jump. So either way, hope you guys did enjoy this video as always. Back to it, another video tomorrow, maybe even two. Hope you guys did enjoy and hope to see you guys in the next one.